Hi guys, it's time for our guided reading practice. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at some letter names and letter sounds. Um, I'm going to go over a couple of them that I want you to focus on when you say them and do them. We're going to look at some words and we're going to talk about the beginning sound or the first sound that you hear and you'll have an activity to do about that later on. Then we're going to look at our trick words, we're going to read some sentences, and then we're going to do a preview of our book that we're going to be reading this week. All right, so we're just going to look at some letter names real quick. Um, I want you to look at them. Okay, and this is the letter D. I want to make sure that when you say the letter D, you're going D, D. Not going D, but it's D. You just kind of pop it back of your tongue, D. It's kind of like this one, which is a T, because some of you are I'm hearing T. It's T, T, T. Think about T, 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 T. All right. Next one is the letter B, and I'm hearing B, but it's B, B, B. Again, you're going to do this again, just really lightly with your lips, B, B, B. Okay, and this is P. It kind of p, 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 pops, because I'm hearing P. So it's P, P, P. And then the last one, just so you can see it, C and K. They say the same sound right now. They say K. All right, so that way when you see them, you know they're the same sounds. All right, let's go over and we're going to do them together. And I'm just going to mix them up a little bit so that you can see them in a little bit. So, P, P, C, K, 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 Z, Z, N, N, B, B. J, J, I, I, U, uh, H, E, A, S, T, T, Q, Q, Q. And for some of you, you know, whenever you see the QU together, they're best friends. So they're always together, even when we're writing. So QU together goes qua, qua, qua. M, M, O, A, V, V, L, U, A, A, R, R, X, X, G, G. W W Y Y F F D D. Very good. Hopefully you practice those with me. All right, we're going to talk about the beginning sounds of a word. The beginning sound is the first sound that you hear. The very first sound. So I'm going to look at this one. That's a B. So that's the first sound. So my little makeshift thing. I have b -ug. So when you look at it, you would go b -ug. The green sound is the first sound. It's the starting sound that you hear. So this word b -ug, is bug. And the first sound is b. Now I'm going to change that first sound to a <sighs> The first sound changed. Ending stayed the same. Ug. <sighs> Ug. <sighs> Ug. All right. I'm going to change the and we're going to put a d, d, ug, d, ug, dug. Okay, we got r, ug, rug. First sound is the r sound. Change that again, and all we're doing is changing the beginning sound. And when we change the beginning sound, sometimes like this, it makes them rhyming words. T, ug, t. Uh, tug. Ooh, ug, lug. Mm, ug, mug. So that went from a. Let's go. It went from ooh to mm. Gonna change the mm to a p pug. Pug. And one more. Change the p to a j, and we get jug. Jug. 
all we did was change that beginning sound and it gives you a new word. That's one way to do rhyming words. Sometimes you can look at pictures and have the ending sound and you have to figure out the beginning sound. That's something we'll be doing later on this week. All right, guys, now we're gonna go over to trick words. All right, guys, we're gonna do our trick words. These trick words are gonna help us with um, reading some sentences in a few minutes and looking at our book. So we're gonna look at our trick words for the week. Um, we are going to have two new words that we haven't seen so far, so I'm going to pull those out real quick so you can see our two new words that we're going to use. I hope I can find them because... Hmm. All right, well, let me see if they're in the other piles because I know we have some new words. Oh, there they are. Okay, so our new word is help. H-E-L-P, help. Help. If you listen, you can hear the sounds, but the E-L-P kind of blends together. It goes help, help. H-E-L-P, help, help. All right, I'm going to see this in a little bit. Our next word is they. Now, if I take the Y off, it looks like the, but we're giving a Y and it makes the E go A. So it's they, T-H-E-Y, they. Say it with me, T-H-E-Y, they. Again, T-H-E-Y, they. Good job. So our two new words are help, H-E-L-P, help. They, T-H-E-Y, they, they. All right, let's look at some of our other words that are gonna be in there. So we've seen this word, our word is come. C-O-M-E, come. C-O-M-E, come. C-O-M-E, come. The, T-H-E, the. Can, C-A-N, can. C S E E C my M Y my we W E we look L O O K look for S O R for is I S is I I this T H I S this. It has the word is in it, but we're saying this. What? W H A T what? W H A T what? Little. L I T T L E little. Said. S A I D said. She. S H E she. He, H E he, H E he. Good job. All right, we're going to look at our sentences. Now, when we write a sentence, remember we start with an uppercase letter, we put punctuation at the end, and we have space in between, which I've done with all my sentences. Now, all my sentences have our trick words in there that we just went over. And if they're underlined in red, it means it's a tap out word or we have to use our sound. So let's look at our sentence number one. We said we can see the little bug bug. We said we can see the little bug. Very good. Number two. This cat is for my dad, dad. This cat is for my dad. Oh, it's our new word, T-H-E-Y, they. We're talking about a group of people. They said, look, what is that? Oh, and that's a, that's a tap out word, but not real. It has the T-H, which is a stick out your tongue, Z at, that. So they said, look, what is that? And it's a question because I'm asking what I'm asking a question. Oh, it's our new word. Help, she said. I will will get get hurt hurt. 
help, she said, I will get hurt. I, oh, there we go. That one's the same as woof, ill, will. Same one, get, et, get help. I will get help. So I'm going to send these for you to practice this week. And then on Friday, you guys can videotape yourselves reading those sentences and showing me how well you practice and are able to read them. And I know some of you will get them right away and I know some of you will need help, but that's okay. Practice is what we're doing. All right, so we were able to see some of our words in our sentences and you can see with all of those words that we've been learning, you will be able to read lots of sentences. So our book today that I'm that we're gonna look is called, oh, got a couple words that you should know. You should know that one is called my, and then this is a box, box. Beginning sound is a b, an ox. And this is called My Box by Frankie Hartley, and it's illustrated by Melissa Iwagi. So I'm looking at the front cover and it says My Box, but I'm not seeing a box. Are you seeing a box? Oh, wait, there it is. What does the box look like? Looks like it might be a car. And there, in the desert, we're seeing elephants and giraffes. They might be on a safari. All right, I'm gonna cover up those words so you can't read them, and we're just gonna look at the story. Hmm. Well, it looks like they have a box. I wonder what you can do with a box. I know my daughter loves boxes, and she's 13. All right, oh, that looks like the front cover. Where's that box? Looks like it's a car. All right. Hmm. Oh, there's a box now. Now it's standing straight up. Hmm. I don't know that where they're using their box now. It's like maybe in the back in that castle. Maybe they use the box for their castle. Hmm. Now they have their box again. Wonder what they're gonna use their box for. Wonder what they use their box in this one. Maybe on their ship or boat. Hmm. Wonder what they're thinking to do with their box now. I guess we'll have to find out tomorrow when we look at all those words that we know and read it. All right, guys, it's time for me to go. I want you to remember what we learned today. I want you to practice using it in some of the activities that you'll be having to do this week. And I just want you to just practice, 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 and get smarter, smarter, smarter. And until I see you again, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.